this is the best part. It's the end. That's what everybody wants to see. See this? This is undone. And that's finished all the way down. Look at that. Awesome. Let's get to blasting. We're almost done. I thought I'd let you guys watch the last bit. Here we go. Welcome to the show. I know what you're thinking. What does it look like when you remove sealer? Well, I'm gonna show you. Check this out. See that over there? That's where I did a little sample for the homeowner. He loves it. I love it too. I think it's gonna work out just fine. Let's go over there and take a close up look at that. Here's Christine. She's sewing up some plastic and tape but on this job here it's real delicate we got really low pressure we are using sand I know some people don't but sand just real fine sand look at this finish doesn't that look nice and and they can throw some new sealer on there but I mean my personal opinion, I love the way that looks, just like that. No maintenance. This is undone. That is still shiny. This has all been blasted. And then we went ahead and hit these pieces of tile. We're trying to stay away from this. Um, but it, it generally won't hurt this either. We're such low pressure. But we're going to, you can see right there, where that's what we did. And that's what it looked like originally. And that wall there. Here's our little sample. That's what everybody wants to see, the sample. Well, there it is. What hole is he wanting to plug that? We did this piece. What's that? What hole is he wanting to plug that? Well, that one? Yep, that little hole right there. Even though if a little sand goes in there, it's not going to hurt it. Sand flows like water. When you get this sand wet, it just flows like water. So, it won't clog any holes or anything like that. But we just sew it on there because whatever makes a homeowner feel comfortable, we would love to do that. So we're gonna go right up to that fence. We're gonna make dust all over these. These are gonna be all dusty unless we move them. So, it's definitely dusty. There's no way to do it clean. We taped these, covered these up real good. Got these rust areas that are going to come off. We got to hit this. We got to hit these steps. We got all this pool coping here. They just sprayed sealer on everything. They even sprayed the sealer on the lights, believe it or not. Couldn't believe it. So all the way to there. And then we're gonna try to hit some on this wall here what we can, maybe down to here, and then he's gonna hand do some of this just because these areas are really tedious to get around and time consuming. It's just easier for him to use a little unit, do it by hand. Here's undone. And then here you can see the half done. So there's what it looks like as I'm blasting it. So this has got a little bit of sealer left in it. You can see it, but I try to get most of it out, but we don't want to go too much because it's going to rough it up. See how rough that's getting? You don't want that. Like that. I mean, a lot of people like that texture. It's really not that rough on your fingers. But there it is. We got to keep going right here little sealer in there and this got a lot of sealer and it's real slippery so see you can tell it's got sealer if you get it wet and it doesn't change color see that I lick my finger see that it doesn't change color hardly if you come over here do the same thing look at that color change that is what shows that it's penetrating into the concrete okay that does not penetrate. So that's the reason this is failing. 
is because moisture is trying to come through here and it's making it flake up. It's going to come through one way or another. All right, well, that's enough yip yapping. Let me get a bunch done and then I'll bring you guys back here, show you what it looks like. But let's take a good look before we go so we can remember it. Because when I'm done with that whole thing, you're going to hardly even remember what I did. So, luckily today we could back right up to the fence. Not always that case. Sorry, I got my sunglasses on. I know it's not polite to have sunglasses on when you're recording. Uh, I spilled a little sand here, spilled some sand there. No big deal. We're gonna sweep that up. It sands really fine. Really fine. So, doesn't hurt much. All right, I want to point something out here. Um, if you look, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll try to hold still with the camera. But if you can see that shine, okay, this here is porcelain, okay? I'm cutting this in freehand. This is not something you pay an employee to do because he is not going to be as careful as me. I treat this like my house. So I'm going to do as close as I can get. I might even leave a little sealer on the edge. But I'm trying not to hit this. If you can see the shine on here, which there is a sealer on this tile right here. I didn't even take that sealer off. Maybe just a little bit right there. Okay, that grout, that's just sanded grout. So it's just sand. So we're cutting this in pretty tight. I just want to point that out, that this is something that is always a concern. I am very picky. This guy. Take a look at my face. I'm the guy. I'm picky. Not most people. But look at how sweet that's looking. Okay, you see right there? See how that little bit of sealer is still left in it? That's okay. Because he's going to come in here with a power washer and hopefully hit some of that and his stain's going to seal. But we need 90% of it off. This looks bitchin'. This is ready to go for some new sealer or stain, color, whatever. This is not ready to go. We haven't hit here yet. So, see how it's a little blotchy? That's okay. Not the end of the world. You got a little bit of shine. We're trying to get all that off. But that is okay to put some... Uh, sealer back on there anyways I just wanted to point that out this whole backyard is porcelain so we can't even like I have my stuff sitting on plastic um, trying to be as delicate as we can trying to keep those on the concrete but this stuff is tough they make teeth out of this so porcelain is about the toughest mistake material you're ever going to get. Google it. Anyways, here's this area. I'm going to use this board on the bottom just so I can get that. And yeah, there's some sand under there and it's not the end of the world because, you know, when the dirt blows, it's going to get something on there. So it's, it's not going to hurt it. Super fun. Like little, little marbles. See how slick that is? Anyways, I wanted to point that out to you guys. All right, I gotta get back to work. See you in a minute. All right, let me catch you up to speed. So here we are, working our way along. We got a little game plan going now. We're using this just to make it easier so I can get even closer because I'm perfectionist, that's why. You can see what we've done there. That's undone, we're gonna finish that. Look at that wall. See that corner there? That's corners done. All this coping's done. See, you can see right there. That's done up to there. That's undone. So unfortunately, Timmy boy's got to get in that water right there. It's 500 extra dollars to take off my shoes and get in that pool. So it's the best I could do. No, I'm, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Gotta have a little humor in the show. 
but I'm going in there. Unfortunately, I'll be doing that last in case I slip and fall. At least I could jump in the truck and go home. There's undone that whole area there. This whole corner's done. We even ended up doing, oh, Christine needs help here. I'm trying not to drag anything on here. Just to be as careful as we can. That's what we do. Probably would never hurt it, but check this out. I was even able to get this. I got as close as I could. This can, Kevin can do some work there. That's my buddy that KB Concrete. KB Concrete. If you guys need stain done, uh, sealer removal, color stain, sealers, all that stuff on concrete, KB Concrete. Just Google it. You'll find him. His name's Kevin. Really cool guy. We didn't hit that piece or that piece. But we were able to do this whole curve right here. And we were able just to put a board under there. So look, we got almost all the way into there. A little bit of sealer left. You can see it. All right. So that's an added bonus. Because he didn't even want me to do that. But I gave it to him. Could I like to prove how good I am, that's why. <laughs> Anyways, no, I was able to do it. And if I can do it, I like to do it while I'm here because I never want to come back. I want this done right. I want you guys to spend your money and be happy with what you're done with. That's why I'm showing you all this. Because one of you is going to call me up and go, bro, I need your help, dude. Look at that wall there. All rusty, got those rust spots. Take a look at that. All right, so we're not gonna get all that out. There'll be a little bit left on the edges here, but when he stains it, or, or seals it, whatever, I think it'll be fine. But it's definitely gonna take most of that off. I mean, you can almost scrub it off. Yeah, I use spit for a lot of stuff. So we gotta get over to here, <clears throat> finish up this area, and knock out this wall, hit that coping, and then we'll clean this thing up. Not too bad. Throw a bed sheet over the TV. That's what I always ask people to do. It's real easy. Everybody's got a bed sheet. So, all right, I gotta get back to work. See you in a minute.
now we got to do this face. So now I got to get in there. So I can get the hose out when I go in there. Hopefully my short little legs are tall enough so my doesn't touch. I think we'll knock this out. That way we're out of the water. So see you guys. Okay, here we go. This is the best part. It's the end. That's what everybody wants to see. See this? This is undone. And that's finished all the way down. Look at that. Awesome. Good job, cameraman. Follow my finger. Good job. Anyways, let's get to over here. <laughs> Hi. Let's get to blasting. We're almost done. I thought I'd let you guys watch the last bit. Here we go. I'm going to move this, or actually I'm going to finish the bottom, then I'm going to flip that up against this fence. This doesn't really affect this plastic at all. I mean, this plastic's already just dull, but I like to do it just for fun. There we go. It does leave a little line though. That's the only problem with doing this. There we go. You might want to go around behind me now. Or whatever. Here we go. This, uh, we got to hold this with one hand and this with the other. Ready? Go. Is the end of the show. Now we're gonna clean it up. See you in a minute. I thought he was done, but he's wrong. He still has to Talk get loud, in the though, pool. You're behind us. He still he's has to back. get in the pool and finish this wall. like you had on my video on our website. Yeah. Look at that. Look at those sexy legs, huh? <laughs> Woo! Oh my. 
This is why I charged $500 extra to go in the water. And I'm not even tall enough, I'm too short. It's actually easier to cut it in from the bottom and not hit that tile, I'll be honest. Dude, my legs are so cold. Sorry. all the stains on there from when he did the pool tire cleaning. Didn't clean it all the way off. Oh my wordy. I still got to do that corner, right? Wait, you missed a spot. Where? I can see a shiny spot. Where? Right at that line. The other... No. Right there. is exactly like the feeling you guys go through when you have your whole backyard done. You just gotta let the mess happen, get it done, and I, look at that, we're done, are it's you, over. Are your feet numb? Let me pull my pants back down and I'll see you guys when we clean this up. All right, this is how picky I am. Take my sunglasses off. This is how picky I am, I'll show you right now. That was so cold. I do not want to get back in that water. But you see that spot right there? A little darker. That don't fly by me. I want to hit that more. So I'm going to get my butt back in that ice cold water just to hit that one little spot. Because that's what it takes. All right. Now I'm happy with it. Look at that. Looks much better. Like I said before, if there's a little stain, a little sealer left in there, it's not the end of the world. But now we got it. Look at that. I love that look. Christine's lounging in the pool over there. Are you enjoying yourself in the pool, babe? That's enjoying yourself. Hands on the hips. All right. 
We're gonna sweep up some sand. Okay, I'm just trying to show them how much sand's in here. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit, there's a lot of it over here. Sweep up what we can, that's all dry. Everything wet has to be vacuumed or pumped out. So, usually the homeowner or contractor handles that part, but I do not clean inside the water. If they empty the pool completely, I'll get down there and sweep it up for sure, but I can't vacuum all that water out. Don't have the capabilities, that's another sport. All right, let's go turn this thing off. See that, we even tape that. Go turn this thing off. Ta-da! Amazing. Look at that. All that sand all cleaned up. I don't even think you could come up with a handful of sand out of here. Got that all clean. Look at that wall. Got all that sealer off. This, it's been raining a lot lately, so they weren't able to drain that pool 100%. So when it rains the next time, it'll wash everything in and then they'll get a pump and just pump that out. That sand will definitely not hurt anything. And you can just run that right through a little sump pump that you put in there down on the bottom and vacuum out the last little bit at the end and you're good to go. But we got all of it off of this clean look at this pretty nice texture a lot of people really love this texture right here it's a really nice this is my favorite color concrete this gray looks so nice it's almost black before you blast and then after you blast it it's this nice gray stamped. I mean, just really is durable, lasts a long time. Look how really nice that looks. Sweet. All right. It's all cleaned up under here. A little water on there. That's not from us. There's a little bit of sand I left right there. I couldn't get it out because it kept going both ways. So there's the final product. You want to see that up close. There's your seal. There's a little bit left in a few spots, but for the most part, you got it almost 100% out. Look at that. It looks nice. This stuff will take to a... A stain or a color or I hope he's not coloring it I think they're just gonna make it shiny and new again got that corner those steps that was tough to get on that side but anyways I think they're happy I talked to him he said it looked good so let's take one last look as we walk on out, we are out of here. Got all of our stuff. The next guy will come in and do the stain. That's Kevin, KB Concrete. It's KB Concrete, you tell him you, you heard about him right here on Sandblast Extreme's YouTube channel. That's right, Look at these big units. These are meant to be outdoors. So if you think, hey, you get a little dust in there, these are designed to be outdoors. The motors are sealed, everything's sealed. Fans are sealed. These things are out here in the dust, in the in the rain, in all the weather. So here it is. Now this out here, ah, good timing. Neighbors home. This here, we'll be back to do all this. Look at the shine on that. We got to get that off so they can re-stain this. Anyways, that's another job. Other than that, we're out of here.